How are we doing guys? I hope we're well. Back today with a brand new video and today we're looking at a very special, very, very hyped indeed pair of shoes. They are the Nike Air Max 97G from the Rather Be Lucky Than Good collection for the Masters this week. This is a cool pair of shoes. So guys, the Air Max 97G as part of the rather be lucky than good collection released for a price tag of 15495 and released this past Monday on, on sort of all your big retailers. They released on Trendy Golf, Golf Poser, Function 18 and then Nike's website here in the UK and they flew off the shelves. There might be a chance of still picking up a pair of these if you are desperate for them, but uh, you're gonna be relying on restocks, but uh, they are a very, very cool pair of shoes indeed. I missed out on Nike's website, but uh, Trendy Golf had a, uh, a brother hooked up, and so uh, so there we go, I managed to, uh, to secure my pair. So the Rather Be Lucky Than Good collection for the Masters consisted of five pairs of shoes, guys. You had these, you got the Infinity Tours, you've got the Victory Tours, Jordan 5 Lows, and the Roshi tall as well. Uh, five really, really good looking pairs of shoes. However, this for me was the absolute standout by far. So guys, we're going to take a little look at the shoe, a little look at the tech in the shoe. I'm going to break down my uh, my thoughts on the shoe. And uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of how we're going to roll for this sort of first look review type video, if you like. So this is the big talking point for this shoe is the upper. So the upper, guys, is a full corduroy upper. So starts off along the, uh, the bottom part here with this sort of golden yellowy kind of uh, kind of color here on the corduroy we move up to a line of burnt orange and then we go up to a more of a master's green blending then into the white at the top so the white at the top the tongue guys is exactly the same so the tongue is a full corduroy tongue as well on the top and then moving around to the back of the shoe the pull tab here on the back is again full full corduroy so moving down to the midsole you've got a phylon foam cushion midsole then you have your signature Air Max 97 air pocket along the bottom, signature Air Max Golf outsole in this really nice gum, a nice green tick there as well. And then I, I really like the, uh, the sort of the navy tick on the inside here, really, really nice. Got it on both sides very very cool touch indeed so sizing on these guys i went to nine and a half they fit absolutely perfect for a nine and a half i'm a nine and a half in absolutely everything that nike do and so uh, these fit absolutely as expected so if you're looking to pick up a pair of these true to size is absolutely the way to go they didn't come with a special box at all but uh, you do have a i believe they're called a kilty so if i show you the uh, the other shoe here so you do have this uh, sort of kilty here on the uh, uh, on the shoe which is uh, which is kind of quite interesting not really my vibe I would definitely be uh, be rocking them more without it and just the laces I think that looks far cleaner but you do have the uh, the option here if you wanted to uh, to wear them like this maybe it might even stop them uh, getting dirty but this is more of a, a suede kind of new buck on there so uh, I mean that's gonna get dirty as well really but uh, but still a very cool touch that uh, Nike have included as part of this pack so guys, as I said at the start of the video, these absolutely flew off the shelves. And for me, the main reason they flew off the shelves is because they are a very, very close, I'd say younger sibling of the uh, the Nike Sean Witherspoon Air Max, the absolutely iconic Air Max that Sean Witherspoon did with, uh, with Nike. That collaboration was an absolute slapper. It was so, so cool. And for us golfers, this is kind of a, uh, a Sean Witherspoon inspired shoe. Same corduroy upper, just a really, really kind of nice homage, if you'd like, to uh, the Sean Witherspoon. So that for me is why I think this shoe absolutely flew off the shelves. Now, concerns for me with this shoe is corduroy. And so corduroy, fabric, 
any sort of dirt on this and it's gonna be an absolute nightmare to clean. So for me, I'm gonna be putting these on ice and then these might not make an appearance out on the golf course until the, uh, the weather is a little bit better. Maybe next year, if you live in a country where the weather is pure at the moment, then uh, you're gonna be absolutely good to go with these straight off the bat. But uh, keeping them clean for me is gonna be the major, major issue. I think Nike absolutely like knocked it out of the park with this particular pair. The other pairs in the collection, I'm not really a massive fan of, but uh, they did do a couple of Looks like player exclusive, looks like sort of influencer exclusives. The main part of the shoe was a navy color, absolute banger. If anyone's got a pair of those in a size nine and a half, do hit a brother up. I do really, really need to take a look at those. And so yeah, it'd be really, really cool to, uh, to sort of see those in hand next to these, but uh, I do think Nike did an absolutely cracking version of these. Now, if you're still looking to cop a pair, then there may be some available online. You're gonna have to stay tuned for, uh, for restocks, but uh, they are on StockX. So uh, if you have not signed up to StockX, make sure you do that. They're not sponsoring the video. I really wish they were but uh, they aren't but do make sure you uh, head over there and check them out unfortunately it almost looks like these are going for over retail on uh, on StockX which is absolutely insane to have any resale value in a golf shoe it's just very very weird i said it on a video a long time ago but uh, because these shoes look so similar to the sean witherspoons i think that is the main reason why these are uh, are so popular so uh, i think nike absolutely kicked it out of the park with these shoes i'm gonna be putting them on ice i'm not gonna be rocking them anytime soon but uh, i will certainly look forward to uh, to getting them on feet at some point in the future guys so uh, if you did enjoy the video guys don't forget to uh, to hit that like button and do subscribe if you have not done so already for more golf shoe looks for more reviews all that sort of stuff then uh, then do stay tuned guys so that's me that's the nike air max rather be lucky than good me signing out peace